Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> What's happening, Boomerites? It's good to see you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm King Boomer. And today we're getting into something that I haven't done in quite some time. Reacting to Gordon Ramsay. Yes, I uh, got a request to check out the arguments compilation that Gordon Ramsay has that somebody posted. Uh, Lloyd Duggan, shout out to you. So thank you for posting this. Even though it's been almost 10 years since you posted it, I still appreciate it. But uh, Gordon Ramsay, I actually, I'm a fan of Gordon Ramsay. Not everyone is. Um, some people really don't like him. But uh, I like him. And you know why? Because he's the one who introduced me to the British use of the word Muppet, which is so prevalent on the channel here. We use it as a term of endearment, um, but Gordon Ramsay does not. And that's how I learned the word all those years ago when I discovered Gordon Ramsay, so... If I go through this compilation and he ends up calling somebody a Muppet, I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to pop. So uh, be prepared for that if it happens. And because it's Gordon Ramsay, the chances are pretty high that that's going to happen. But I've done Gordon Ramsay reactions before. Most of it is quick cuts of like the best um, insults and angry moments of his. This one, it looks like the clips are going to be a little drawn out because the arguments have to take some time, I guess. But it should be fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, check below to see if you're subscribed. Um, sometimes the subscription subscriptions get kicked off the channel for some reason. So just double check below. Make sure you're subscribed if you like what you see on the channel, okay? All right, here we go. Let's get into Gordon Ramsay getting into some arguments. This should be interesting. Here we go. Let me just have a quick word, very, very important. Yeah. This man is paying your salary. Yeah. His business is about to close. Do you understand how critical the situation is? I do. So pay the man fucking respect and tell the truth. You have deep fried those potatoes. No, these one haven't been deep fried. They are wrinkled, dehydrated, and they have been in the deep fat fryer. That's, that's not dehydrated. Yeah. You're talking to a chef. And for as long as I've got a hole in my butt, big boy, those fucking potatoes have been in the deep fat fryer. Don't fucking lie. I oh, shit. I know what I did. You know the oven's not even hot enough to roast a potato. We can't even cook a fucking burger in there. Ooh. They've been in the fryer. Tell the fucking uh, truth. Look, they went in. He's looking right at it. Tell him the fucking truth. Oh, my God. He's so adamant. I've even started to doubt my own judgment. Yeah, those do not look good. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've I've been in the restaurant business for uh, for a while now, and um, you know I don't I still don't know much about the food, but I know about you know serving and bartending. But uh, you know this, and I've seen it in person. Chef Aaron, shout out to you if you're watching. But some like I've. I'm always one of those people who responds very well to um, criticism like this from your boss. Like, if they get in, in your face and curse at you, it's kind of like a wake-up, like, hey, you need to do better. I've always responded to, well to it, but there's a lot of people that don't. So that style is not for everybody. But <laughs> I'm just laughing my ass off because he said, as long as I've got a hole in my butt, I'm going to have to start using that as well until I tracked down Alcimar. How many trays of potatoes did you fry this morning? I fried everything here. You fried all four? Yeah. And who told you to fry them? My chef. Your chef, yeah. Why did you deep fry the potatoes? You, you said it earlier, it's because the oven is nowhere near hot enough. Right. Can we get back to basics now? And cut yeah. the fucking crap? <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, but I fucking hate liars. Sorry. Me too. You've never cooked a mussel? All right, we can shout or you can fucking help. I don't mind. What do you mean I can help? Hey, what have we been doing for the last... Yeah, OK, fine, you're right. I'm sorry. What have we been okay. doing for the last two hours? Fine, so what do we want in here? I'm just amazed you've never cooked a mussel. I haven't. 
Don't take the piss out of me for it, though. Oh, who's taking the piss? You what? I don't think you can actually cook. If you'd have fucking talked to me. If you can't me, cook a no, fucking if muscle. You have fucking yes. talked to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Oh, what was that? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Okay. This is, yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Hey! Go on! Yeah! Uh -huh. Finish it then! <laughs> Finish what? What are you about to are say? You? What am I about to say? Cook a muscle. No, I haven't cooked one. Right. Okay. Right. So, shall I show you how to cook a muscle? Oh, at last. Thank you. Yes, oh. please. Right. Are you gonna tone your voice down or are yes. you gonna shout like some dick? I'll shout like some dick and then I'll calm down. Right. Now I'll shout. Well, why don't I'll you fuck off down. to the bookshop, read how to cook a muscle and come back and see me. Yeah. Okay. And I'll run your fucking restaurant. Thank you. Plonker. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> oh. I mean, I got respect for the guy for uh, standing up to him, but, you know, it sounds like he's not doing a good job. So. Anyway, let's continue. Um, I think mean, Norman was put on the far too much pressure tonight. You know, he, your, your menu made him plate up his own plates and do the starters and the cold soups out there on the barbie, and he couldn't manage, slowed him down too much. Um, You're telling me that my menu <laughs> fucked him up on the grill? He couldn't, he couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with what? Putting a fucking bowl of soup out that was already made for him? Well, that was, yeah, it was shown. It was when are you guys going to stop fucking around with excuses? When's one of you going to step forward with a pair of bollocks and give me some fucking honesty? Because I don't know where you were, because that was fucking shocking. Let me tell you something. You made a fucking good decision. You pushed the button. Whether you like it or not, it was too fucking late. An hour and a half late. So whose fucking fault was it now? Chef, I'm fucking out of here. Fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, after all that. After all that. F yourself. Jesus. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, uh, the chefs have the toughest job in the place. They really do. They really do. Chef Aaron, I hope you're watching, man. Uh, but yeah, they have the toughest job in the place. And I always have major sympathy for the chefs. Sometimes they're not all that great, but even when they're not doing so well i still have sympathy for them man that's a tough ass job and it's it should pay more honestly out with you now because i don't mind going i'd rather go and see my wife today and sit here and fucking bang my head against the wall if you're not prepared to accept the changes you've got to tell me and the nitpicking uh, do, you, do you know what you, you've got to balance it out with some confidence and a little bit of encouragement. As we, I said to them this, this morning, right? Just remember, we are the bosses. It's not a power struggle. You are definitely the owners. Just cut them a little slack. You'll be surprised. You know what we're acting like? Small children, aren't we? Thank you. They're busting their nuts off for you right now. They're busting their nuts off for you right now. That's I... not for me. That's for you because you pay their fucking salaries, not me. And when you're worried about your villa on rock fucking plates that no one's changing, fucking come and tell me. Yeah? Because I'll smash them over your fucking head. <laughs> what? Oh. Now we're threatening people, huh? Chef Ramsay? Anyway, it started off good. I arrived and I thought it was actually quite a stunning, intimate little place. Then the food arrived. Solid rock hard prawns. He knows. You dig deep and you come across some mashed potatoes got laced with fucking apricots, tomatoes, and a red currant jus. No, it's a, it's a, red it's a, it's a red, red wine syrup. syrup. What the fuck were you thinking about putting apricots inside mashed potatoes? Do you know what, right? I actually took the recipe from the Good Food magazine. The Good Food magazine? Yeah. That's the bullshit answer. What were you no, thinking about not. putting it together? Well, why not? It's different. You've got every right to be slightly fucked off about it. Because I would be if I cooked that shit. <laughs> and here we are in a current situation. I like how they're all. I mean, Gordon Ramsay's huge here in the states. He's got to be there as well. 
in the UK. But uh, I love how even he's taken the piss out of all three of them, and they're trying so hard to hold back laughter. Gordon Ramsay's a hilarious dude. Even, but it, like most of the time when he's hilarious, he's being dead fucking serious. Uh, I think that's the appeal about him. On her ass, and the chef over there wants to fucking laugh about it. The fuck yeah. do I want to do about it? You're standing there fucking smiling me off. Yeah, fuck do you know that. What I mean? You've just shown me over the last three minutes your attitude stinks. It's just not at all. And you can't take criticism. I can't take gonna... criticism. It's just ways and means of going about and putting criticism across. It's the way you speak. You speak arrogantly. How would you like to be spoken to? No, just like a normal person, like anyone would speak to anyone. Uh-huh. No, let's go the other way, shall we? Please be so kind to remove the apricots from the mashed potato. See, now you're being a fucking sarcastic. No, but I, mean, I, 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 I don't know how. I mean, no, listen, no. we've got a problem oh, here, no, yeah? And there's a fucking issue with the food. Mm. Now fucking Mr. Chipmunk in the fucking corner's pissed off the fact that I'm telling him something constructive. See, if I can't get over that hurdle, no, 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 I might as well fuck off back on the train now. Attacks, Do you understand? Yeah. Have a, a have a word with a chef, yes? a and if he's going to fucking me, remove... Yeah, oh, sorry. Sorry. If you want to talk to me, talk to me. I'm talking to the owner. Like I'm a fucking kid. Fuck me. So did you like anything about the three courses? There was one saving grace, yeah, there was. He's not laughing anymore, is he? The sticky toffee pudding was fucking delicious. No! <laughs> 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 oh, fuck me. So did you like anything about the three courses? There was one saving grace, yeah, there was. The sticky toffee pudding was fucking delicious. No. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. I just wish I had it for my you. fucking starter. Oh, you welcome. Fuck, Welcome. Foxy! That's the nitty gritty over with anyway. It's enough, I'd rather the camera not be on. Come here, really. Right. Is, is this because it's, uh, things ran quite smoothly last night, so it's like a ploy to sort of mess things up? I'll run the fucking show if you don't show me some form of fucking business study degree that you've been fucking harping on and you've got. Sorry, I just can't. Well, stop being so fucking stupid. Now you're blaming me for the fucking reservation book. Two hours ago, when you were in bed, we were in here looking for the fucking thing. It's gone. Can we move on and try to get some form of shape in this restaurant? Okay, well, Isn't that the most sensible thing to do? But let me just tell you, what I've witnessed in the last three hours here... Hello? You can shake your head and run off again. This time, I don't give a fuck. But don't dare blame me for this chaotic mess. You don't have to be so rude. Laura, come here a minute. Oh, not again. Not again. <laughs> not again. Bollocks. Alex. What, uh... What show is this from? Uh, somebody's gotta know, because it's the one thing about Gordon Ramsay is he's had... He has so many shows it's hard to keep track. Like, I know Hell's Kitchen and um, the, the the American version of where he goes in and, like, saves a restaurant. He had one about a hotel, too. Saving a hotel. I can't remember what they're called. But he's got so many shows. It's wild. And didn't he ever, like, a kid show where kids are cooking on the thing, too? Where he was actually nice? Um, but this one, this one was obviously aired in the UK at some point probably a uh, long time ago but uh, somebody n let me know which show this is I'm assuming it's it's like the UK version of uh, the American show where he goes in and saves a restaurant kind of deal Alex, you're 32 years of age yeah yeah you speak fucking good English yeah yeah and your attitude stinks Why she stinks? Tell me. Can't pretend. Don't judge me like that, you know, because it starts to piss me off now. Have I'm you not... given up? Yeah, I told you, yeah, I've given up for that. Because I'm not interested enough by what I do every day. So why don't you fuck off back to France? <laughs> <laughs> when, when you... <laughs> Yo, he did not have to say that. Yo. Oh my God. R.I.P. France. Oh my God! Do I have any French followers on the on the channel? I, if I do, I I can't. I don't think I've ever seen one. But uh, wow, wow! I almost I launched my headphones that I'm not even using across the room on that one. Just giving up. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I'm giving up for that because I'm not interested enough by what I do every day. So why don't you fuck off back to France? When, when did these arrive? As oh, this morning. But they're all open. They arrived this morning. I oh, know, but you're not serving them, are you? But they're dead. They're all open. Some not inside. No, what? That's not good. 
Alex, come on, fuck me, I'm not blind. I know, I know you're not blind, God. They're, they're open, every one of them's open. I love muscles. So are we too. using them tonight? If we need some, yeah. We you'll kill somebody. They're all open, they're dead. Yeah, you would. You can't That's right. Yeah, I know. You're I'm, not that fucking stupid. No, I'm not fucking stupid about that. I know a little bit about fish. So are we going to serve these tonight? No. Thank you. Fucking hell. Put them in the bin. Jesus Christ. I have been here the first day. I found fucking 14 palm sea bass, open fucking mussels, the most horrendous fucking pack of freedom I've ever seen in my entire life. And now you're thinking that it's rare that someone's complaining about it. No, I'm not buying it rare. I'm just I'm, I'm telling you. You're what, a very good No, 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 no. I'm telling you what I'm told. No, I don't need to bullshit, and I'm not going to lie. Because I know, no, bullshit. No, I'm not. No, no, no. So I've been honest from fucking day one, and I will always be honest. You're not going to get lies out of me, you're going to get the fucking truth. Yeah. If, someone, if people are complaining, I tell you people complain. They don't complain. All of what are you all of it's not about what I want. Well, no, but no, but I'm telling you, but go on, man, I'm telling you the you're truth. No, you're, no, you're telling me I'm a liar. Don't tell me I'm a liar. Don't do that, man. I'm not acting. I'm telling the did truth. I, did I call you, you a liar? Yeah, you call me an actor. That what did acting I just is bullshit. What did I just say? You said, you said people are not like So the muscles were fucking closed, were they? Yeah, it's got nothing to do with it. I didn't see the muscles, so I'm taking your word. Yes, they were no, closed. Uh, listen, I have no, they were open. I ain't. Don't tell me I'm acting and I'm lying. Because I ain't. And I ain't, man. And it ain't happening. You do a good show. A really good job. Thanks. Uh, you're out of order. You're out of order telling me I'm doing a show. I ain't doing a show. I'm you're running, I'm running, point. doing things. No, oh, bullshit. I said you amaze me. Oh, All these things going on in your kitchen. You still and you don't you give still a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Of course I give a fuck. If you did that fuck, you'd do something about it. Sorry? Silly ass, you're a stupid ass. Why do you think I don't give a fuck? How you're dare scared. you? How you're dare you say I don't give a fuck? You're scared. What am I scared of? What, you? You're scared, scared of? No, not me, hey. What? You're scared about your chefs. Your shit scared of me. Oh, no, I'm okay. Fine, fine, fine. You just call me a silly arms. Yeah, yeah. You haven't got the bollocks to go in there and tell me the truth. What, fish on the wall? Like, you know, I mean, you, you know, you... Damn, man. Hey! So he's basically saying, you have the balls to say this to me, but not to your chefs. Whew, that one probably burned him a little bit. I wonder, uh, this is a compilation though, but I wonder if he did give the chefs a piece of his mind afterward. I'd rather awesome. have a fucking piece of fucking fish on the wall than a fucking crusty pair of fucking knickers. No, no, see, that, see, that insults me as well. What, because there's because a pair I, of knickers? No, use a pair of knickers. Don't use a crusty pair of knickers. It's so out of order because it's so Thank detrimental you. to the artist and also to me. Right, so you're taking it personally. No, that's it now. That's it now. Mm. Yeah. No, you, no, you're just no, 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 cross but, the line. No, cross the line again. You'll be out of you order. Cross the line again. I tell you I don't like the decor of the restaurant. Sure. You start getting yeah. upset. Go for it. Go for it, man. Not happening. I'm not going any further with it. It's bullshit. Why are no. you feeling the necessity to you're insult people? Acting again. Is that, where's the, where's is the script? It, where's it, the script? It, it, read the script. Is this a big defensive thing that you've read got? Read the script. Why don't you read your own script? I'm not taking Winging. your shit. Winging. Not taking your shit. shit. I'm not taking your shit. Hold on you a minute. What do you mean taking? You know what? I'm talking about that. I don't care. It's your opinion. That ain't my fucking opinion. You bought it. It ain't my opinion. You don't like it, tough shit. No, I like it. it. It looks great, it sounds great, and Good. why are you working Good. yourself up like this? Good. Because that's what it's about. I hit a nerve. That's what it's about. Fuck Good. you. Thank fuck for Ooh. that. It's finally come out. Right, should we get back to the decor? Let's not. <laughs> that's not. Don't call me a liar, Gordon. You want to fucking don't call me a liar, man. Because right. you do that, you're out the fucking door with the camera crew, and I'm telling you that. Kick me don't out the door. Don't call me a liar. Because I don't out. fucking lie. Kick me out the fucking door. Now he walks off. Relax. Okay, yeah. yeah. I kind of like that guy. I kind of did. But if he's the owner, mm, there's a reason why Gordon Ramsay shows up to your place with a camera crew, right? Get a grip and fucking control it. I'm okay? trying to. I'm cool. trying to. Or you fuck off when I'll do it. Cool, cool. You okay? fuck off, I'll do it. Huh? Hey. <laughs> I got it. No, no but uh, listen. Yeah. You, you're more laid back than a fucking ironing board. So, <laughs> you know, if you're going to muscle in and do it, shut the fuck up and do it. I'm trying. Uh, hey, not hard enough in my eyes. I thought we were going to be doing some stuff in the kitchen together, so uh, as you didn't well, get. Nobody said anything. Uh, right. About that. Said you'd be back soon, but never mind. Okay. Are we going to get serious, or because you know, should I tell you how I feel? I'd rather fuck off home. That's how I feel, because I don't feel any form of commitment. Um, I, I, I think it's an incredibly admirable enterprise what you're doing, oh, and cool. I think oh, Rachel's me... stop, totally stop, committed. Stop! 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 Come on, let's get a little bit real than uh. that. No, no, no. Look, I'm committed no to her, up. but I'm not, I'm not, you know... I, I, mean, I just I don't get it with you. Be, I, I think right. you're a fake. I don't, I, I, I don't get any fucking... Not, I'm not asking you to lay down a red carpet or kiss my ass. I just, I want commitment. And I don't feel that. That's no. all. Well, you're not going to get that if you tell people they're a fake. I, I, but you've, you've just arrived. Yes, and I'm just going to leave. 
I'm really committed to it, <laughs> but I'm not. I just can't. I just refuse. Good for that lady. And I'm just gonna leave. She don't want to take his shit. I get that if you tell people they're a fake. I, I, but you, you've just arrived. Uh. Yes, and I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm really committed to Rachel, but I'm not. I just can't. I just refuse to be harassed yeah. and insulted. Harassed. Insulted. Yes. Incredible. Harassed and insulted. Fuck me. Take a good look at yourself. Take a seat. Ooh. How are you? I'm fine, very well, thank you. Uh huh. When India came back, excited and motivated to come and support your business, and she walked into a shithole. Yeah, it was a mess. It was, an... it was a disaster. Why? Um, the place was as it was when you left. You're lazy, you put nothing into it, and you deserve a kick up the fucking ass, <laughs> Missy. And I, I'm, I'm amazed. I, I really am. The point is that I have been stressed out and not enjoying. The, uh, I've been stressed out, and since I closed, decided to close down, I feel like a big weight is lifted off my shoulders. I'm sleeping for the first time in three years. You had every possibility, Rachel, of making this successful. It's a decision I, I, I've made, and I'm feeling really happy about it. And it's fascinating to watch you, in a very cocky way... I'm not being cocky at all. ...use I'm saying your father's feeling... money and abuse it. You're very lucky. Woo! <laughs> Oh. I had enough of your abuse. I don't need this delegation. I don't need it. Sorry. I'm out of here. Abuse? I don't need it. That there, that came out of there. Who threw all the veg in there? Wait, stop. Okay. Um, I will say this about Gordon Ramsay, whether you like him or you don't. Um, he, he dishes it to the women as much as he does to the men. He does not care what you are he will he will give you a piece of his mind he, he damn sure will right here abuse i don't need it that there that came out of there who threw all the veg in there like that last night not rats parsnips that you could tie a knot in fucking cauliflower that's got mold in it what's going on guys we're all responsible for what we put in the fridge yeah can't just hold my hands up and say it was just me that's not good enough, Toby. You better get your fucking fat head outside your ass and start understanding what the fuck was going on here. Wake up! Scott, I'm not your voice. I'm not here to blow smoke up your ass. No. This is your responsibility. You've bought into this and you've taken this on your shoulders. Absolutely. We've, I've had this conversation with the guys a couple of weeks ago about cleaning this kitchen up, about getting it ready for service. Scott, you have to get real. You have got to get real. I'm so fucking annoyed. This is disgusting. Matt, you may come in one day a week, two days a week, whatever, but give me something, well, will you? You're, you're a chef. You trained as a chef. Yeah. Well, rumour has it the food's fucking ten times better when you're cooking. That's the rumours. Well, I'd like to think I wouldn't leave the kitchen. That's also a compliment to him, but I guess when he's not on... Well, you're a chef. Ain't as good, man. You trained as a chef. Yeah. Well, rumour has it the food's fucking ten times better when you're cooking. That's the rumours. Well, I'd like to think I wouldn't leave the kitchen in that state, no. no I'd have to go around and get 50% of those customers last night, fucking knock on the door this morning and fucking walk them in this kitchen. Then where would we be? So it was better for them to sit there where they were happy. We've been waiting here since 8 o'clock. I'm going home. I couldn't give a shit about it. Oh, my that. God. Everybody's it's Captain gone. Hook. It's an absolute load of shite. We've got a 70-year-old buddy woman with us. And you haven't given us any a bloody shit. And that's for you. <laughs> Yo, I love that guy. Two seconds, please. Sorry, buddy. Thank you. You're not smoking, are you? Yes or no? Yes. That's disgusting. Come on, Karen, please. Now, I need everybody's help tonight. Thank Come on, you. please. Yeah? Ridiculous. Come on. He's busting his ass off there. You're outside smoking. Take the order of six, please. Now. Now. Well, you, he told me two minutes. Uh, Karen? He told you two minutes, but does yes. that mean to say you've got to go out and smoke no, a cigarette? No, I didn't know. I thought you were running the restaurant. I am. Thank you. Thank you. Dear, oh dear. You forgot to write it on. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. we're having a lesson and yeah. taking orders. Yeah. OK? I... Don't get upset. I'm not getting upset. We're in the shit. We look stupid. No, They're... you don't, no, let me, I just let me told finish. Let me... my fault. Listen, let me just finish. Yeah. By the time that venison's cooked and rested, yeah. the existing customers around the table, their fellow guests, yeah. will be on fucking dessert. Right, we, I... as a unit, look stupid. Yeah. Please don't tell me any different because... I'm not telling you any different. Don't start though. shouting. I'm not shouting. You'll run off you... in a minute and start no, smoking. I... No, I won't. <laughs> 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 Sir, 
Yeah. We, as a unit, look stupid. Yeah. Please don't tell me any different. Because I'm not telling you any different. Don't start God. shouting. I'm not shouting. You'll run off you... in a minute and start no, smoking. I, no, I won't. But you're always in there. You're always you just willing concentrate? To, give, to give bloody screaming. So it's my fault and now. It's not your fault. I've just told you it's my fault. I've just told them it's we my fault. We look stupid. Yes, I do. We. But you, no, you don't, because I've just told them it's my fault. You, have, you, you don't get it, do you? Yes, I do. You don't get it. Oh, God, you just love pig. That's all you've done for the last two days. You've said fuck all to him. But no, that's all it is, is every time I come out here, I'm still not sure about you. That's all you've said all night. You're going to run away now? No, I'm not. Customers can hear you. My customers. customers can hear you. Yeah, and they can hear you as well. Is this what it's like? She forgets to write a venison and then shouts and screams and runs off. Yeah. Well, I have a go at it as well. I have a go with you when you do that. Please no, stop no, no, no. shouting. And then you Close the door. At me, so I Close the door. <laughs> Let's stop the embarrassment further. I'll talk tonight. Oh, I've gone out there. I know what I you said. I've heard what you said. Why have you done this to us? Why have I. What? Why did you do this to us tonight? We've never had a night like this, never, since we've been open. Don't be so ridiculous, will you? Shit food. <laughs> fucking red mullet frozen from Thailand. The what fact that we're not performing, the service people. is all over the place, the customers are fucking complaining. Why did they put 90 people without giving us any notice? There's still 50 you haven't even fucking served. So what are you blaming me for this? It's feel that the 50 haven't been served. We Don't didn't count even get a chance. how many's on the service. Don't, Don't count and come we back. We didn't even get a chance. You're a weak man, because you just pick oh, on fuck that. fuck off, Gordon. Don't call me a weak man. You're Who a weak man. Who the fuck do you think you are? Why don't you open your eyes, get your head out of your ass, and try to look at your business yeah. objectively? That was unbelievable. It was yeah. fucking embarrassing. Yeah. What went wrong? Let me ask you first. You own the place. Truthfully, now... I don't fucking know is the honest answer to what happened. You don't know? It was a... Listen, two people went to the wrong tables. Now, I know for a fact that Anya, regardless of what table she was told, went and put it where she fucking liked. I don't know why she did that, but she did it. Oh, 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 my God, just ratting out your server like that. Oh, man, the boss throwing the server under the bus in front of Gordon. Well, she fucked up. I mean, but I don't know. Why did she bring it to the wrong table? Listen. Two people went to the wrong tables. Now, I know for a fact that Anya, regardless of what table she was told, went and put it where she fucking liked. I don't know why she did that, but she did it. That's all I know. Yeah, that's all you know. I don't think you're capable of running a fucking bar, let alone a restaurant. Yeah. You're employing cheap labour, no fucking training. Cheap and labor. you're expecting to get up to speed. When was, the last you, when was the last time you trained a waitress? Enough. I've got to go and look after my customers. This is nonsense, right? I've told him what happened. I've told him what fucking happened. Talk to me. Why? Because you don't listen. I'm in denial. I do this all the time. This hour I run my fucking restaurant. It's not true. That's why you're in this shit, you no, fucking it's not. fat idiot. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, the build-up to that was so good. Oh, it was so good. Whoops. I hit the mute button by accident. Because you don't listen. I'm in denial. I do this all the time. This hour I run my fucking restaurant. It's not true. That's why you're in this shit, you no, fucking not. fat idiot. Don't call me fat. You are a twat. Do you know that? You stupid, <laughs> stupid junk stupid idiot. fucking silly you're looking... <laughs> is that how you run your business, is You're it? You're a fucking knob. Oh, <laughs> you walk away now. Go and talk to my customers. Go and talk to the fucking there regulars out there. there See if go. they've ever seen a service and like this. And what are they going to say to me? Go and ask a regular. You <laughs> are the best host in fucking Hampshire. Probably, some of them. Are you that fucking blind? I'm not saying that there isn't massive improvements that can't be made here, but if you think that this is the way I run it, and I can't run this, you're wrong. So fuck it, I've done my best. I don't need to talk about this anymore. Unfucking believable. Ah! That was you grunting like a troll, looking for your fucking spanner. No, but. Don't need to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Do that, wait. He sounded like the fucking Aflac duck.
And then the girls lost their minds. Unfucking believable. Ah! That was you grunting like a troll, looking for your fucking spanner. No, but. Ah! Ah! Fucking hell. Oh man! Oh, that was good. Maybe I should do some more Gordon Ramsay reactions. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Hey, he's not for everybody. I like. I love the guy. He's the guy that introduced me to the word Muppet. Or didn't introduce me to the word. Introduced me to the usage of the word. But uh, yeah, there's some. You know, when it comes to, it's funny. It's it's hilarious to me. I love it when people. I'm one of those people, I love it when people flip the fuck out. It's just, it's hilarious to me. I think it's really fun, funny when um, elder statesmen do it. It's really funny when the elderly flip out on people to me. Um, because they just, they don't, at their age, they usually don't give a fuck anymore. But... Um, in terms of the arguments and stuff, there were some some of them where I was like, "Yeah, Gordon, maybe you need to reel back a little bit," and of course he ramps it up. But of course it's because he's in front of the camera. I would be curious to see if like if he walked in there without a ca without cameras, how many uh, physical art altercations he would cause. I don't think he would really hurt anybody, but I think somebody would try to hurt him. If the cameras weren't there. You know what I mean? But uh, anyway. Yeah, he's not for everybody. I know some, in my experience in the restaurant business, I know some chefs that are really like that, where they really get in your face and get you to, get, to do what you're supposed to do. I've always responded well to that, but as you can see, not everybody does. It's not for everybody. But uh, anyway, I thought that was really funny. So thank you for suggesting the arguments comp compilation. That was good. That was really good. There's another one here that says Gordon Ramsay rapid fire screaming compilation. So maybe I'll do that in a couple days. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Remember to like, subscribe, do, what I, do whatever you guys want. Check the notification bell and uh, hit that so that way you you stay updated on whenever a reaction drops on the channel. Okay? Anyway, I'm out of here, Boomerites. I'll see you next time. Much love. And y'all have a great day today. Stay safe.